Right now, live at 630, making it to Mars and starting a reality TV show about putting people into space. Those are the big dreams one local business owner has. Well, Bigelow Aerospace is based right out of North Las Vegas. It already has a structure on the International Space Station. Not bad, right? And 13 Action News reporter Leah Pizzetti now takes a look at what they're working on now. It is a race to space and it's happening right here in our backyard in Las Vegas. Bigelow Aerospace has something that looks just like this on the International Space Station right now. They also have something like this. It is a much bigger concept and this is something for down the road. But right now, NASA is here in Las Vegas at Bigelow and they're testing out something that's a little bit more of a middle ground um, and they're looking at sending this to space in the future. Welcome to the Mars transporter testing unit. This is um, a variant of a B-330, which is an entire space station that gets to space in a single launch. This structure is a living space that expands once it gets to outer space. This is dedicated space for medical isolation. It has everything needed to house four people indefinitely and up to six people for multiple weeks. Right here we have one of two veggie gardens. Now this is really important. On the way to space, astronauts are definitely going to have to grow their own food. Food, storage, bathing spaces, and even entertainment are all included in this design. And this week, more than 60 NASA engineers and eight astronauts are at Bigelow to test out the B-330 and give feedback. They were very complimentary, and we really appreciated that because these people have the experience. They've actually flown, so it matters what their opinion is really matters. Founder Robert Bigelow says one piece of advice from the astronauts is to add more handles because with no gravity, the handles are how astronauts maneuver around the structure. The company is hoping to find out if NASA chooses to back this project in 2020, which would make this their second expandable spacecraft in use. We're excited because we kind of think, well, now's the time. Transportation is so close. It's around the corner and we're ready. Hoping to get in on the space race now. It's not just going back to the moon. This is something much, much larger than that. First, they're shooting for the moon, then Mars. We want to be part of Gateway. We really would like to do that. We'd like to be part of the whole Mars thing, the whole Mars expedition. Leah Pizzetti, 13 Action News. Well, one idea Robert Bigelow discussed today is the idea of sending people who are not astronauts into space all for free. Yeah, kind of interesting. Yeah. Now, he says the whole idea is he wants to do something like a reality TV show, okay, and then pick the people, then have cameras follow them into space. Now, maybe that's a reality show I would watch. Yeah, that's something. <laughs>